2024 annual Pyramid Lake Brother Fishing Extravaganza. Got here before first light. Haven't hooked anything up yet, but... I don't know. Look at this weather. Perfect wind. This guy's got one on. Watch out to your right, Patrick. On the end. No worries. They take you where they take you. you gonna, what? It's it's okay. This Patrick. Patrick, you got the net. But don't remember. Don't bring him up too close to your line. Even if. Don't bring him on the beach. That's why we got a net. Or are you keeping him? I don't know. Measure him. See if he's. Uh, let me see if the friggin' if we got uh, huh? 17 to 20. Hey, but just so you know, we got a net, so if you're gonna release him, put him in the net, buddy. Well, tell me what you think about dipshit drawn first blood. Yeah, he gets a friggin' slot fish too on his first one, just what he wanted. There, hey, you ask, you shall receive out here, apparently, huh? This is weird. The waves are coming in, but the friggin' the the bobber's going the opposite direction. Let's see if we can get some love here. Everyone, the only fish that got caught are on strip right now. The guy got one on a beetle down there, and then James caught one on a spoon retrieve. So they're they're chasing right now. Now I'm having my first bobber down in the season. And in typical fashion, I was staring off in the friggin' space and I look over and it's gone, so I set and uh, pulled it right out of its mouth. <laughs> so, that's just fucking fishing for you and my guess is there's going to be more opportunities today. In about as good a condition as you can ask for out right here at the old salty pond. No, he's a fucking dink. Yeah, he's not ter he's not terrible. What? Yeah, he caught he grabbed it close. He's not the smallest, but he's not the biggest. Hold on, let me get him close. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, he might be he might be close to ten. Alright, not the biggest friggin' lot in the friggin' world, but he's probably right just short of 10. He's got a tag on him. Nice big ol' friggin' pilot. Dude, you're having issues hooking him. Maybe s slow your retrieve just like a little tiny bit. Just slow it a little bit. That'll help him like get a good friggin' mouth around it. Don't, don't, yeah, don't stop reeling. You, you know what you did? I just watched you again. You stopped reeling. You can't stop reeling. If you give him like any slack, it's barbless. You'll lose them. You gotta keep reeling. Let their, if you, you use reel, reel, reel. If they're gonna, you let them take drag if they're gonna pull against you. You don't worry about it. You just reel, reel, reel. I got, I got a nook. I got a couple of head shakes. See how I'm reeling fast so I'm keeping letting the drag do its thing? He feels okay, Pat. I can't tell for sure, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. I mean, he's moderate. Yeah. Oh, All right, we got one. Finally, the first fish over ten of the year. He's not. He's not the longest fish in the friggin' lake, but he's got another tag fish. Big old pilot. Get this son bitch out of here. Woo! Patrick is fucking on. You want me to get him here? Oh, he's, he's okay. Here. 
He's okay. Yeah, make sure you just keep pressure on him. <laughs> nice work. Friggin' Patrick with his. There it goes. <laughs> now, turntables have turned a bit. <laughs> we got like a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind coming out of the northeast. And it's making it pretty miserable here. Uh, usually, there's a direct correlation between how shitty the weather is and wind and fish bites out here, but kind of died off once the wind picked up really good. We were having a decent bite. So I guess we will uh, grind it out here and endure the shit weather and hope it's worth it here at the end of the day. Grab me a net, Pat. fighting good. He's taking uh, line, but he's not, I mean, he's not that big, but he's taking line. Yeah. Kind of did. Where is he? Tell me when he gets close enough and I'll... Huh? Hold on, wait till he gets close. Dude, this one's got some juice. It's not that big, he's just... Huh? Hold on. Actually, that might be, that might be another 10 pounder. Point six minus one and a half. Well, we're already getting in. some good shit now. We got a. Well, they're getting progressively bigger. This one's eleven. It's a big oh, fish. When you get a twenty, they're even like bigger than that. But we'll uh, we'll take this big old fat some bitch pilot. <laughs> Two over ten pounds today, which is a pretty phenomenal day. Uh, Still hoping to find that one just extra large and in charge fish that may be cruising out here. And we know they're here. This kind of weather is perfect to get them to friggin' get a little banshee warrior and attack. So, find a chaser or two here still today and uh, go home and drink some beers with the brothers. Shithead's got one on. Okay, just, yeah, just use your drag. You got your drag set right? Just keep pressure on him, okay? And then, but use your, is your drag set right though, I hope? This one, this one is big. Yeah, don't be twisting your rod around a lot. Just keep single pressure and just keep your rod tip fairly, or your rod straight at him until he moves. If he's good. Oh, this one is big. Hold on, yeah, don't, you don't have to pull. It's not like a bass. You gotta remember. Yeah, he looks, uh, that looked like an okay, surface so oh yeah that's a that's a good one that's better okay keep holding on just keep keep your rod tip up keep your rod tip up I, I can't step out there any farther just keep, just keep your rod tip up That's that's easily ten that's easily ten pounds. That's probably twelve or thirteen.
All right, what did we say it was? 15, 16? 15? Uh, 6, 17, 17.4 minus your man. Thanks again, man. Sweet. Thank you, my friend. Beach today, there's been a 20 pounder, an 18 pounder, a 17 pounder, a 16 pounder, and then two, like 11 pounder and a 10 pounder. That's all on one beach today. It's just been one of those days. my hook. Yeah, you better t just take the pliers and read set it and tie it on again buddy get out there and get some get some well our calling her quits it is friggin typhoon force winds and hey great first friggin bro weekend day we'll be out here again tomorrow doing the same shit hopefully the winds die down a little bit we don't want it gone but we want it died down so that those big fish will We'll be chasing again. Gotta love this place, even though it's friggin' miserable and it takes a special type of crazy to want to fish here. Day two of the annual Trim Brother extravaganza. We got a nice uh, beach all to ourselves. Oh, there you go. We uh, moved from the spot that we were planning on fishing that we fished yesterday because there was a tribal fishing clinic event and which kind of sucks because I think it was going to be decent. There were big fish in there. We saw lots of fish get caught yesterday that were double digits. So out of necessity and the good will of our hearts, we're down fishing a different beach, seeing if we can make something happen. Goes to try to prove the whole thing that you can catch fish anywhere in Pyramid as long as you find the right depth and where there's drop offs. We're gonna give it hell as normal and hopefully there's a big fish or two that make their debut on YouTube. Shitface has got another one over here. Keep use your drag, buddy, use your drag. See it? Is it a good one? Or is it gut is it fouled or something? Okay, well what are you doing? Hold your rod tip up a little bit. Use the bend of your rod, you're like going straight at it. Better fish. Yeah, that's a good fish right there, buddy. That's stiff that's that's, four, hog, that's fourteen. Woo! Nice work, brother. Yeah, that's Alright, let's do the weigh in here. I'm gonna say at least fifteen. Did you get the hook out yet? Okay. Yeah, that's, I'm going to say 13.8. Yeah, 14 14.15 minus a pound and a half. Alright, so. I was right. So it's like 13. 13 pounder. There he goes. Woo! They're here. Well, friggin middle brother is putting on a fishing clinic for the rest of us, this lucky fucker. That's his second fish that's uh, over 10 pounds and well over 10 pounds. 13-ish. Uh, and uh, I know there's big fish out here. We had to move beaches down farther, but that's a good sign that even before the sun comes all the way up that we're getting uh, a big one to bite. Seanimal is animal. Hey James, help a brother out here with the net. Doesn't matter. Fish is a fish at this point. Oh, he's a fucking. That's like one of the ones that you see in the friggin' mouth of the big ones, huh? <laughs> we got the friggin' A position guy over here. 
He's all he's been on fire this whole trip. It's, he's had the hot rod. What does it look like? Like what, five pounds or? No, that's a, it's another good one. Oh! You got a dirty bastard with a, I'm guessing, I was almost right on last time. I'm gonna say 15 pounds on this one. Oh, that's easily. Uh, 14.5, 14.8. I said he was a little bit heavier than the last one, he was. 14.8 minus a pound and a half. Yeah. All right, look at this friggin' 13 pounder. What a dick. Ooh. He head shakes. Grab the net, James. He's moderate. Had a fucking baby. Maybe the fucking jig's the ticket today. <laughs> nice work, yo. Oh, he's going to. You got a good hook set, I saw. Oh, he's. How come this guy's so aggro? Oh, you oh. gotta be shitting me! Well, take a look, see. We got bluebird shit. There have been. Few to no fish doing much. My brother caught one more uh, summit, like moderate size, like six, seven pounder. It's the only fish we really had to do, get to do anything here today. It's just difference in two days. Yesterday was fantastic. Today was, well, with the exception of the guy who's friggin' slumming out over here because he's already caught three double digit fish in the last two days. The rest of us are still trying to scavenge together at least one more so that we can drive home without being fucking grumpy. But even if we don't, friggin' pretty pretty solid friggin' weekend so far. Heck yeah. To each up for the win. Never. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Yeah. This is this this is like a really good fish, guys. This is a this is a really good fish. No, we're not hooked. Are they hooked up together? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know what's going on, dude. Did they cross the stream? They might have crossed the stream, but mine's, no, 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 no. mine's just getting aggro. Yeah, no, it's... Here we go. Going to me. Anyway, tell me this. Mine's going fucking crazy. Yours is bigger than mine. Yours is bigger than mine. Mine's just aggro. It was pissed because it got shook. I was like, this is big, but it's because he crossed He's not big. He's just fucking... I got him weird hooked. Yeah, James's, James's is, is bigger. bigger. It's about the same size. You guys are pretty funny. Oh! Coffee goes. Coffee goes. Coffee goes. Coffee goes. Coffee goes. Why are they so aggro today? Dude, it was, it was a summit. That's a that's a that's a ten pound fish. I bet you that's close to 10. On fire, man. He not, I don't think he's that big. I don't feel very good head shakes, but we'll see. You see the, you see the fucking hook set though? Like, you gonna do the friggin' hook set? He's just a dinker. Just a fucking dinker. They're way more aggro on the jigs, dude. Just a fucking dinker. Look at him just being aggro. Wow, they don't like that in their mouth. Alright, skunk broken.
skunk broken. We got a fucking last cast magic. Okay, keep real and make sure you keep the tension. James, you're just sitting there. Why don't you fucking let him? I hope so. Yeah, just. That's a good fish. That's. Oh my god. That's that's probably 12 or 13 pound fish. Just keep keep your tension on. Keep your tension on. Looks like a summit. Big summit. Oh, it's going right out. Yeah, it's okay. Let him, just yeah, let him take line if he needs to. It's okay. Yeah, if that's if that's a 10 pound summit, that's a big summit, buddy. Yeah, just don't horse him. Just let him take line when he needs to. Talk. What did you just say, Sean, about the friggin' renewal? They always give you the hope. It's okay. Let's let him do it. Is your drag too loose or is your drag right? Yeah, just keep reeling then too. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, just keep your tension, keep your rod bent too, and just. I'm just trying to see here. Is it this way? I can't remember which way is left. You might want to tweak your drag a little bit tighter. I can't. I think you just got the drag messed up. Oh, there. No, that's actually that's a that's a really good fish. Yeah! <laughs> All right. So we got a. I'm I'm saying 15-ish. That's probably a 15-ish pound fish. That is, what did I say, 15, 15 or 16.0 minus 1, so it's like 14 and a half. Wow. Hell yeah, baby. Wow. Well done, bro. Call this the redemption fish, and unfortunately, he hoovered, he hoovered the lure, but we have a redneck here that eats these things, so look at this son of a bitch. That is, now that's five fish over 10 pounds for the weekend. Obviously, we only kept one of them, but that's friggin' awesome. Successful friggin' brothers weekend, huh? Oh, yeah. So how do we feel? I don't know, man. I didn't catch enough big fish. Yeah? <laughs> how about you? Yeah. Only, one, only one PB by what? Four pounds. Four pounds. Got five fish or ten pounds left. Like yeah, four it's four it's pounds. it's always the friggin' newbies or the visitors that end up catching all the big fish on the trip. So that's probably the way it should be. No? Well, there's only one thing left to do after you catch friggin' several 10 plus pound fish. Go home and pound whiskey until you can't see. <laughs> Woo!